Yes. Hi, I'm Zoe. We Zoe. talked on the phone. Yes, I'm Mark. Nice Pleased to meet, to meet you. you. You're younger than I thought you would be. Yeah, yeah, but I'm ready to go. Ready yeah. to do this. Ready to go? All right, great. I just wanted to say thanks again for having me Let me over. just shut my phone off. Yeah, definitely. Don't, move. don't want to get interrupted here. That'd be rude. <laughs> I just wanted to say thanks again for having me over. I'm excited about getting your home on the market and getting it sold. Can I take a quick look around your house just to take a look at it? Sure, I'll be glad to show you around. Okay, thank you. Okay. See the place, Okay, great. I wrote down three real important questions for you. Do you absolutely have to get your home sold? Um, we do, yes. Fantastic. Will you price your home to sell, or would you like to keep it on the market for a long period of time? Well, I don't want to give it away, so I'll probably test the market for a month to six weeks and then go from there. Great, great. Do you want me to handle the sale for you? Well, that's why you're here. We have you over, and we have two more agents coming over after this as well. Excellent, excellent. All we need to do now is simply sign the contract so I can help you get what you want in the time you want. Won't that be great? Well, we need to go through what we're going to price the home for and what you're going to do to sell the home for me and how long you think it's going to take for you to sell the home. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> At the end of my presentation tonight, one of three things will happen. One, you, you'll have the opportunity to list your home with me. Mm -hmm. Two, you'll decide not to list your home with me. Mm -hmm. Or three, I'll decide not to list your home. Okay. And any of the three are fine. Okay. Let's take a quick moment. Let's take. Let's quickly take a moment and review the questions I asked you over the phone. Sure. You said you were moving to San Francisco, right? Yes. <laughs> you said you were moving because of work. Sure, that's what I said. Yes. You said you had to be there by October first, correct? Ideally, latest September first. Okay. All right. No, sorry. September. Yeah, ideally September, but latest October first. Okay. Yeah. You would like to price your home at five hundred and fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. That's the lowest I'm going to go on. Yeah. And you owe forty nine thousand. We owe one forty nine. I see. We have a home equity as well. One forty nine. Yeah, one forty nine. Okay, I'll put that down. Now you're planning on selling it yourself. We thought about it. However, we just don't have the time and the resources to to make that happen. Terrific. Uh, you did want to get your money out, correct? What, what do you mean, Bill? Um, you wanted to be able to get um, your money out. You mean to take the cash from the home? Yes. As opposed to giving somebody a mortgage step thing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. We want to take our money out. Okay. Good. Um, now, there are only two issues we have to look at tonight. Number one, your motivation to sell. Mm -hmm. And number two, the price we set on your home. Okay. <clears throat> I've prepared what we call comparative market analysis. There are two parts to this research. Part one, we call fantasy land, what homeowners list their homes at. Mm -hmm. And number two, what we call reality, what real estate agents list the homes at to sell. We're going to have to decide tonight where you are going to spend your time. The purpose of the comparative market analysis is to determine the value of your home in the eyes of the buyer. Do you know how buyers determine value? I'm assuming they look at one house and compare the bathrooms and the kitchens to another house and then they look at the price, right? Yeah, yeah. Like buyers determine value by comparison shopping. They look at price of your home based on its features and benefits mm -hmm. and compare it with features and the benefits of similar homes that have sold recently or are currently on the market. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. For example, if you were going to purchase a car and one dealership had the car for $50,000 and another dealership had the same car for $50,000 but had an entertainment system, which car would be more valuable? Take the one with the entertainment system. Be yeah, because it has the extra thing. What if the first dealership put the car with no entertainment system on sale for $45,000, which would have a better value? I'd probably take the 45000 because I could get an, an entertainment system myself for $1,500, $1,500. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So as you can see, if you want to increase value, lower the price or have more features and benefits for the same price. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Good. So unless you are planning to add more features and benefits to your home, are you? No. Price is the only issue. Can I show you what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this home right here, 
Yep. Yeah. Um, this home is just like yours. How many beds are there? I have no idea. What are you showing me? There's three bedrooms in this. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So that's the beds? That's what you yeah. need for the beds? bedrooms, right. yeah. And then there's two bathrooms. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and then the square footage is right here. 2,325 the total. Uh-huh. Um, and do you want... Um, have you seen this house before? We haven't. You haven't. Okay. Um, your house is better. Um, and there, you, you see here what, what price they're asking? $498,000. What's Orange LP mean? Um, the original list price. Oh, the original list price. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So that's $498,000. Right yeah. Here. And you can see down here how long it's been on the market for. 147 days. You need to be in San Francisco by October 1st, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. What price, look, comparing it to your house and this house, um, what price do you feel we should use to create value in the eyes of the buyer and get someone to decide to buy your home versus the competition's? Why do you think this hasn't sold? Um, I believe that the price is too high. Well, that's sixty thousand dollars less than I'm looking to get for mine. Yeah, exactly. Who's the realtor? Are they useless? No, no. Okay. They just priced it wrong, so that's why it's been on the market for oh, so God, long. Give it away. I mean, yeah. one of the neighbors sold last year for five sixty. Yeah. Well, they might have. It might have been a different kind of home. They might have, might have had different amenities, different value. You have to look okay. at like different values. Oh. Yeah. That's a big shock. Mm -hmm. So you don't think you can get more than that for the house? So um, now that you've seen these prices, I'm going to recommend the price of, mm -hmm. for you, $480,000. Will you list that, will you list your home with me for that price? Probably not. No? Probably not. It's okay. it's okay. This is the learning process. You go, you go for it. So, what do you want to list your home for then? Compa looking at the comparative. I'm shocked that this is 147 days. How many months is that? That's five months. Mm -hmm. Five months in the market. Have they had any offers, do you know? I don't know. I really, I didn't see four in my numbers at all. Yeah. So low fives. I mean, the idea was 550 to hopefully get 519 or 520. Yeah. Yeah, so see, the problem with this is that they did list it for a very high price, and now it has been on the market for a while, so that also... 498. They were listed on their five. Yeah. So since it's been on the market for an extended period of time, the value has gone down. What? Because it's been on the market for 147 days. Well, what? How does that make the value go down? Because no one else would buy it. So why should why should another person buy it? You lost me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. Breathe. All right. So go ahead. Finish the whole thing. So, I have recommended the price of 480000 Will you list your home for me for that price tonight? No. Not at that price. Okay. So, no I mean, 519 is the lowest I'll actually go. <coughs> 519? Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Yes. Go with your car. With your car. Okay, well, if you won't go below 500, then I guess I'm not the right realtor for you then. Okay. Okay then. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you for thank coming you, Mark. over. Okay. All right, great. So let's, let's pause you. Let's go. <laughs>